Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I make beauty, lifestyle and hair videos here on YouTube. Now today I'm going to be talking about how I refresh my hair and I make it look like this. So if that's something that interests you, then please keep watching. Today we're talking about how I refresh my hair. Now, let me preface this video by giving you some information, assuming that you're a beginner to the curly curl method. According to CG, you're not supposed to be washing your hair more than once a week. Now, I work out so I don't really go a week without washing my hair. Well, sometimes I do. Essentially, what I do is I've learned to trust my hair. When my hair starts feeling very heavy, that is when I know it is time to wash my hair. Now. Let's say I have to go out for an event or a get together and I want my hair to look nice. That is when I will refresh my hair. Now, I don't refresh my hair unless it is absolutely necessary because the process of wetting and drying your hair can cause something called hydral fatigue. That's hygral fatigue. When moisture enters and exits the hair cuticle, something called hydral fatigue happens and this damages your hair. Uh, there's a really nice article that I was reading up on and I'll leave the link to it down below. When your hair is wet, your cuticle expands and when it dries, it contracts. Now, this repeated process of the hair cuticle expanding and contracting causes hygral fatigue. And what happens is your cuticle gets weak and it becomes prone to breakage. Which is why I don't suggest refreshing your hair very often. Do it only if you absolutely must. Now. Let's just get back to my hair. Generally, I wear my hair in either a satin hair tie or I wear it in a pineapple, but mostly I use satin hair ties or satin scrunchies. I will be making a video on how I protect my hair during the week and how I wear it to sleep, etc. in order to protect it. Now, when I wash my hair, generally what happens is the day I wash my hair is called day one. And on day two and day three, which is the days successive to day one, my hair generally gets bigger in volume, gets fuller. But by the time it's day three, my hair starts looking limp. I start seeing a lot of frizz and I lose a lot of the curl definition, mostly on the roots. And so today I'm going to be talking about how I refresh my hair. Keep in mind that I'm a full time mother of doggy. I have a lot of responsibilities, so I'm not sitting around the whole day and my hair is not protected all the time or rather I have to work towards pesky phone. I have to work towards protecting my hair. Most of the time I'm cooking or I'm working out or I'm cleaning or I'm taking care of my doggy, which is why I'm getting my hands dirty, I'm sweating from my head. So I sometimes tend to refresh my hair, especially if I'm going out. Now, when you're refreshing your hair, either what you can do is get under the shower and wet it completely. But if you're going to wet it completely, then you'll, you'll spend the time drying your hair. And so I would say you'd rather just wash it. But if you're in a pinch and you want to refresh your hair and you don't want your hair to take too much time to dry, then this is what I would recommend. Firstly, let's take my hair out of the hair tie. This is what it's looking like. Like I said, if I'm not going out, I'm not touching my hair. As you can see, I've lost a lot of definition on the root and my curls are sort of limp. It seems like my hair, you know, from here to here has like a mind of its own. It's not doing what I want it to. And I also see a lot of frizz. So what I will first start by doing is get my tools because I forgot to do that. Okay, so now these are my tools. I like to keep things in bins because I promise you when you're looking for a particular comb or whatever and you can't find it, there is nothing more irritating. And plus I do most of this in the shower, which is why I like to keep them all together. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a tail comb. 
just like this and I'm going to section my hair out into four sections that is down the middle and half half. I'm going to be very careful because my hair will be knotted that's a given so I'm going to be super careful when I'm sectioning things out. So yeah, I'm just going to wrap my hair around and I'm going to clip it up. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Now it's very hot in Calcutta and it is definitely very hot under these lights. So I'm going to be sweating. Please excuse me. Anyway, I'm going to get my hair wet. So my face is going to get wet anyway. Okay, so what I've done is four sections. I'm just going to leave this at the back for now. So I'm going to take the first section and I'm just going to spritz it with water till it is nice and wet. Now the deal is I've already told you guys that I prefer to style my hair when it is sopping wet. I'll tell you why because I'm super sensitive to any kind of fragrances. They trigger my migraines which is why I feel that when my hair is sopping wet and I apply the product, the product gets nicely diluted and the smell doesn't bother me as much. Now, if you can tolerate fragrances, then please, by all means, you can just dampen your hair. As long as it is nice and wet, you're good to go. I just have a lot of these spray bottles. I think I ordered one from Amazon and they sent me 10, which is a little crazy. Anyway, I have a lot of these bottles. If you can't be bothered to do, it, to do this step and you want your hair to be sopping wet, get under the shower. As long as you don't wet your roots, your drying time will be fine. Now, let's just talk about products and quantities. Your hair is going to be different from mine. When we talk about the amount of product that I'm applying, it actually makes no sense for you to copy me because your hair length, your hair volume, density, porosity, all of that is going to be completely different from mine. And so what I'll say is, when you are starting the curly girl method, keep experimenting. Keep experimenting with the amount of product that you use and slowly, slowly you will see what works for you best. Just because this works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you. So experiment and find the right amount of product that you require for your hair. So yeah, I'm not wetting my scalp. I'm just wetting from here till the end. The moment my scalp gets wet, it's going to be a three, four hour process. And that's something that I don't want. So as you can see, my hair is pretty wet. If I squeeze it, droplets come out. This is the amount of wetness that I'm going for. Okay, so what I tend to do is, I wet my hair, I apply my product, I rake it through with my fingers like this, okay? I'll rake it through, I'll comb through in vertical sections and then I will squish to condition. So I will squish my hair in an upward motion. I'm going to take the WOW conditioner in the argan oil variant. I'm going to use one pump on, of the product, a full pump. This is how much I have. Now I'll apply the product in, avoiding my roots because my roots are pretty dry. I'm just going to go from mid length, two ends, and whatever I have left in my hand, I'm just going to break the top part. Now the next step is I'm going to detangle my hair. Now listen, the average person loses 150 strands of hair a day. You are not touching your hair for a week, or let's say you're touching your hair twice a week. So you're going to have hair fall for the entire week. So right now I am expecting to lose more than what a thousand strands of hair. It is not alarming to me because 
आई एम नॉट कॉमिंग माई हेयर एवरी सिंगल डे आई ओनली कॉम माई हेयर वेन इट इज़ वेट नाउ आई फील लाइक गॉट इन लिटल ड्राई एज आई वॉज टॉकिंग टू गाइज सो आई विल रीड वेट सो या आई स्टार्ट डी टैंगलिंग एंड वेन आई डी टैंगल आई स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द एंड एंड देन वर्क माई वे अप If I go from the top, it's going to be a total disaster. Now I'm going to be very gentle with my hair. I'm not going to be tugging and pulling. And also, when it comes to my comb, I'm going to use a comb that does not have any jagged edges. When I comb my hair, I also tend to lift it up a bit so that it's not pulled at the root every time I'm trying to detangle. If that makes sense. I'm not pulling or tugging my hair. I'm being very very gentle with it. The more you pull, the more breakage you will cause. And you don't want to do that. Now the steps that I'm going to follow are wet my hair apply the product comb through it then I will comb it in vertical sections and then lastly I'm going to squish it or scrunch it every time I feel like my hair is drying out I'm just going to go ahead and add more water so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to part my hair in vertical sections and comb through just like I did in my previous video so yeah that's a vertical section I'm going to take it I'm going to comb it through and ribbon out my hair I do this to encourage curl clumps Now you can be super precise and use your tail comb for this but I'm not that fancy So as you can see this comb is causing my curl clumps So as you can see that ribboning motion has caused some kind of curl in my hair. What I'm now going to do is I'm just going to squish it. Now when I scrunch it, I want to hear that squishing sound. If I don't hear the squishing sound, I'll just apply some more water. Now You shouldn't be applying your conditioner or whatever styler you're using on dry hair because wet hair will absorb product dry hair does not or maybe doesn't so much so yeah I squish and I can hear that squishy sound I will just repeat the process on all of the sections So now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to look at a mirror and I'm going to see that I have no frizz. Or rather, I'm going to check to see that I have minimal frizz. Now I'm going to take the Enliven gel. This is in the keratin variant and I'm going to be very generous with the amount of gel that i use i'm going to smear it all over my hands and this is the first time in the entire process when i will tilt my head upside down so what i will do when i tilt my head upside down is i'm just going to touch my hair everywhere with the gel and then i'm going to glaze my hands through the hair using the praying hands technique 
and then one last time I'm going to scrunch in all directions to get some nice volume going and to encourage definition. As you can see, I am merely touching the hair with the gel on my hands. And then I'm going to slowly glaze my hair using praying hands. And then I'm going to scrunch it in an upward motion. When I scrunch, I'm going to tilt my head from side to side so that I have some nice volume and so that the hair falls really nicely no matter how I part it. And now I'm going to plop. I always plop for 30 minutes. If I plop any longer, then I feel like my waves and my curls become a little wonky. So I'll plop for 30 minutes, then I will take out the plop and I will just air dry as usual. So plop is on. I just take the biggest cotton t-shirt that I can find. Usually I just bum one of my husband's. So I will keep my hair in the plop for 30 minutes. And then after that, I will just air dry. When I air dry, no touchy, okay? You don't touch your hair while it's air drying. You just move it around from side to side if you want volume. And let's say you part your hair on this side, then when you're drying it, try to keep your hair this way so that it gives you more volume. But you can also periodically change your hair from this side to that side. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back when my hair is completely dry. Hey guys, I'm back and my hair is completely dry. Now the gel that I put on my hair has hardened and formed a gel cast. So all that is left for me to do right now is to scrunch my hair and we call this step scrunch out the crunch. As you can see, slowly, slowly, the volume is coming back to my hair. I'll keep doing this till I've broken the cast and all of it is nice and soft. Okay, so these are my results. This is what my hair is looking like. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you gained some value from it, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give me a big thumbs up, share the video with your friends. And if you'd like to see more from me, then don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my handle down below. All right, that was it. That was the video. This is how I refresh my hair. Bye guys, and I'll see you in the next one.